All right, hello again. Thank you for waiting for like 45 minutes for our second Rocket League match, but um, we'll introduce ourselves again in case you're new. So I am Matt Williamson. I am Tyler Salonitro. And you are still watching Married to College Esports. So the Pioneers, they came off with a dominating 3-0 win against Mount St. Joseph University. But in just a matter of minutes, they'll be going up against Widener University as part of the NACE uh, Rocket League Fall Cup. Now, as we mentioned earlier, Weiner is a very good program. At least one of their players is Grand Champ. So we're going to see how that plays a role uh, in this match. So we're just a couple minutes away from getting the lobby set up. So I want to go show the roster again. Just for those who are new, maybe haven't um, seen this before. So we have uh, our team captain, Senior Grant Swan, Thaxter21. We have uh, sophomore Austin Offerberger, Ozio and freshman Kyler Wheeler uh, Relic. So, um, yeah, I'm just getting, I'm pulling up the NACE Rocket League competition right now. So that way, once I know that the game has started, we can get the lobby information. I don't even remember, are we home or away? I don't remember. Uh, that'd be good to know. We are home, so we're gonna have to set up the, the lobby. Uh, but yeah, so once we get that, which should be just a, like a minute or two. So while we are waiting for that, uh, just as a reminder, we mentioned earlier, we mentioned again, that this weekend is stay at homecoming for Marietta College. So normally we'd have our traditional homecoming. Unfortunately, with everything going on, we have to do it virtual this year. But apparently there's a whole variety of activities going on and also a great fundraising opportunity to help support our athletics program. So if you want to help, you can go to bit.ly slash virtual sellout and you can make a donation of any amount you would like. Every $5 donated counts towards a virtual ticket for the sellout event. Our goal is to uh, sell 5,000 virtual tickets. Uh, so every $5 would count as one of these, these tickets. But what's interesting about this is when you make your gift, you can designate one of the athletic teams. And that team will receive half of your gift. Since eSports is under the athletics program. <sighs> Although it's still not an official varsity sport, we're working on that. But uh, it is still under athletics. So that means that we can receive part of the funds. Hold on one second. Yeah, I bet that because we're home team, we're going to be orange this time. Um, not so sure about that. Okay. Sure. All right, so Vincent Anderson will be joining us in just a second uh, as we are... Getting the lobby uh, set up. So they're getting the information to my team because they have to create the lobby. But yeah, as I was saying before, uh, half of the donation will go straight to uh, the team of your choice, which can include esports if you so desire. And there is a friendly competition going on among the teams where the team that raises the most funds or sells the most tickets receives an additional thousand dollars for their program. So. It'd be awesome if esports won that competition, but it's an uphill battle because a lot of the there's been a lot of support from some of the other teams. Uh, but you can still lend your support and help with building our program by going to bit.ly slash virtual sellout. Oh man, is that an I or a one? That is uh I an I and a one. That's that's an I. Definitely an I. Okay. You're typing in the wrong thing again. I am doing that again. Yep, yep, yep. Let's try this again. Okay. Now I'm going to wait a second because I know the lobby has not been created just yet. You know, we should get like a soundproof wall just right here. Put up panels. You know this is supposed to be the coach's office, right? Yeah. Okay. All the merrier. Actually, what I'd rather do is if we just open this up and turn it into a window so I think the coach can actually see what's going on out there. Like that way you don't have to like go and roam around, just can just see everything. Yeah, but it's cooler to stand behind the players. Yeah. What we need to do is we need to have a designated broad like like two separate rooms, a coach office and a broadcast room. Not merge them all into one. But well, more money going towards the program will help us. So yeah, if you want if you want to make a donation to make that happen. You could go to bit.ly slash virtual sellout, or 
We just need like 20,000 Twitch subscriptions. Or we can sign a petition to turn the gathering place into the esports facility. I don't think that's gonna fly. It's A. Just petitions say. work. Petitions can work. Okay, looks like the lobby has been created and we are joining the lobby. Uh, I see Vincent's in here, but yep. can I hear him? All right, yeah. Oh, there, there he is. is. You got me? You got me? I think, yeah, there we go. Yeah, let me get a couple things here set up here, because I got to make sure you can see the game. That would be good. The so stream, Rocket League. All right, you should be able to see that. Oh, uh, there we are. Yep, we got it. All right, and I'm letting the Widener know that the lobby is up so they can join. So they should be joining any second now. So to remind everyone, this is going to be a best of five series. We'll see if Marietta can 3-0 Widener like they were at the 3-0 uh, Mount St. Joseph University earlier. But it will be a difficult match because we know the Widener has at least one very good player. And usually in Rocket League, all it takes is one really, really, really good player to carry the team. However, we also have one really, really good player. But well, we have three pretty good players. Oh, that opinion. is true. Yes, we do have three really good They're players. They're all good. But We're not here to pick favorites. Yeah, I don't ever pick favorites. What Overwatch map does this background remind you of? I particularly... I swear it's, it that is, like no, that is definitely Dorado. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> no, yeah, the buildings I, the buildings are definitely Ilios. Though. I was going to... Well, I, I was going to initially say Dorado, but yeah, the caps really will make the difference. And it looks like Marietta is going to be on the orange side this time. See? I told you. Home team orange. Oh, and I just realized I still need to update the score from last time. I don't know why I forgot to do that, but we will fix that. Give me a second here. Oh. There we go. Problem fixed. See, I told you, though. Did that or not? Orange is home, blue's away. I figured it out. I cracked the color code. We were home team on both, so both games. Okay. Well, then now it's just weird. Why are we orange this time? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Orange is better. All right. Well, let's get back into the game here. So we're seeing a nice defense by Baxter, but we're seeing the Winders putting on a very aggressive offense. Thurm is going to be bringing the ball over uh, straight to the goal, carrying it over. He's trying to set the play, but does not connect. Scoob trying to deny Ozio's jungle downfield as Relix there to try and keep it out of Marriott instead of goal. But that's a nice angle coming in from Thurm. That was very unexpected, but very well done. The ball's in play in the right neutral area. Thurm just gets it off. That was very well, well done. You see Thurm will win the first touch of the of the new round. Not even four minutes into the match, and uh, looks as though Widener has scored a goal, but Marietta is looking quick to respond with one of their own as it hits the crossbar two times in a row. And Scoob and Tommy together will clean that up as Thurm will take a shot on an open goal downfield. That was really cool. So like Marietta w was just trying so hard to get that goal off and they gave up the defense. And then when the goal wasn't successful, it was an easy goal for Thurm. That was very, very crazy. I like that. We've seen Marietta make the mistake of leaving the goal exposed. And it looks like Winder is going to be able to punish that better than some of the teams that they've faced so far. However, only three and a half minutes remaining in the match. Marietta can bounce back. It's not over yet. As Relic looks to set up a ball centered for his team. As Ozio looks to clean that one up, but Tommy comes in and deflects it wide. As Scoop sends another shot towards Marietta's goal, but Relic is there this time to deflect it. However, Thurm looking to keep the ball off of uh, Widener's goal and deflects that one mid-air. As Tommy takes the ball back towards Marietta's side of the goal, as Relic's trying to clear it out with the assistance of Thaxter, but all of Widener's members are just downfield. Trying to score this goal. However, this is Marietta's opportunity. There's an open goal on the side of Widener as Ozio dribbles the ball to straight downfield, but both of Widener's teammates are able to respond and come back in time. Now we see Scoop trying to set the play, but Thaxter's going to knock it over. But Tommy's going to keep the ball in play. In favor of Weiner, trying to set the goal, but Relic is going to go for the block. Scoob does knock it over to the side and tries to set up the play for Thurm, who's going to go for a shot, but great save by Ozio. 
However, it is followed up by Scoob. Oh, that was so, that was nice. You th we think the goal is saved, but then Scoob just comes right back with a, an extra try. That was really good. It's always that like that second defense that Mary needs to worry about is making sure that there, there's going to be another try after the first attempt. 3-0 is the score line right now with two minutes remaining in this match. However, Marietta is keeping the trying to take an aggressive a shot towards Widener's goal as Scoob looks to set up a ball towards Thurm, who's on the left-hand side of the goal, but it does get blocked up. But Tommy is there to try and follow through with it, but he misses as Thurm tries to follow through with that one too, and it barely hits the crossbar as Marietta has got to clear this ball. Widener taking multiple shots right after back, but just goes wide every single time. However, Scoop setting up a ball mid for Tommy, and Tommy does clean that up. Yeah, just that like, was very nice, yeah. It's just an easy Good setup. Yeah, an easy shot there for him to, to set it up. This is not over yet. There's a minute and a half remaining in the match. Marietta definitely is a can bounce back in this one, however, Scoob looks to set up a ball across mid for Tommy, but it does get tried to get deflected out by Ozio. However, Therm dribbling the ball midair as Scoob looks to clean that one up, but it barely goes far. What's really interesting, at least what I was saying, oh my god, and there we go, Ozio on the downtown. Finally punishing Widener's aggressive. Widener got, a, I'd say Widener got a little cocky there. They all went downfield again, and Marietta just said, we can play the game too. I was about to say, what's really interesting is a lot of times you would see the opposing team, uh, like whenever one side has the ball, they'll fall back to play defense. But Weiner is not afraid. The, the, they're not falling back. They're not afraid. And we see there a very quick score there by Tommy. But what I was getting at is when Marion has the ball, Widener's not falling back. They're going straight for the ball. They are just going wherever the ball is and taking it away from Marietta, denying them any opportunity to take shots at the goal. That's actually not a bad defensive style play. Nice well, shot it, that goes wide by Tommy. It, it only works though if you're able to pull off the steals. If you can't get the steals, then you're gonna leave the goal exposed, which I think has happened that one time that Marietta was able to get on the board. But overall, Winder has done a really good job with trying to deny Marietta to play offensively. 30 seconds remain in the match as Relic looks to take a shot towards goal, but it does go wide. Trying to set up something for his teammate Thaxter, who's in the mid, but Scoob is there to deflect it midair as Tommy's sending the ball down the right-hand side of the field towards Scoob, and Scoob's going to look to set up mid for Tommy, and Tommy shoots to the top left corner as it hits the crossbar. Relic looking to dribble the ball down the right-hand side of the goal, but it is deflected midair by Thurm, and 10 seconds remain into the match. If the ball does not touch the ground, it will be over. But Scoob wants to end it right now with a goal that hits the crossbar. Trying to be followed up by Tommy, but it also bounces off the crossbar again. And it has to just clear the ball, but Widener will take the first map in this best of three series. Yeah, if we take a look at the end game stats here, yeah, we see 15 shots at the goal by Widener versus two for Marietta. Yeah, a very dominating performance there by Widener. And that was just, they kept up on the the offense. And every time Marietta had the ball, they were stealing away from them. So Marietta didn't have a chance to do anything. And I think one thing we're checking, um, I think we have an issue here. I think Thaxter accidentally DC'd. Um, Nope, Daxter is in play. Oh, there, okay. I thought I saw him left the match. That's why I was a little concerned. But okay, he's he is moving. He's okay. We're good. Right, like it was looking to uh, take punish uh, Widener's open goal with a setup down mid for Ozio, but uh, Widener has retreated back to the goal to deflect that. However, Relic, I got another opportunity with an open goal, but it barely goes wide as he tries to clean it up, but he hits the the side post. Daxter also there trying to clean it up, but he misses the ball as Relic Ozio is just going to dribble it down the right-hand side. Widener forced to play in the defensive right now. This is looking really good for Marietta. And now we see an open goal for Marietta. That, that's great punish coming in from Widener. Yeah. Well, I mean, it just goes back to Marietta's Achilles heel that they they, see, they tend to forget 
that they need to be able to keep an eye on their goal and make sure it's defended. Like, right now, another open goal. The Mary's going to try to block it, but Weiner sent the play. Great play there by Thaxon to prevent it, but the ball's going to go straight to goal. But Ozio there with the save. Mid mid open goal on the side of Weidner as well. Wish to take advantage of that, but Thurm is able to get there just in time as he will drive the ball down towards Marriott's side of the field. Marriott has an open goal, but Thaxter barely saves that just in the nick of time with an awesome save. However, Thurm sets up a ball centered for Scoob, but it does get tipped out by Relic as they are now looking to dribble the ball midfield towards Widener's goal as he as he looks to take a shot, but Thurm is there to deflect it as Relic's going to set up a ball towards mid, but it does get deflected out by Thurm, but they keep trying as the ball, oh, Marion has almost get punished for an open goal, but Relic tries to deflect the ball, but he gets missed. As Thurm's looking to clean it up, but Ozio, or Thaxter retreats back to the goal just in time to be able to deflect that one. As Marietta is now on the offensive, but Scoob wants to keep the ball on Marietta's side of the field. Tommy with a nice save along with Ozio trying to set up the ball for Thaxter. It seems like Marietta is struggling with being able to set up the plays. It's they're they're playing more frantically than they had in their match with Mount St. Joseph. With Mount St. Joseph, they were setting up plays, hitting, the, taking the shots, getting the rebounds, and so forth. But here, they're just struggling to maintain control of the ball. Ozio going for the midair deflect, barely misses it as the ball is on the to side of the, ball, the goal, and they are forced to ha try and clear the ball this time. Nice deflect, uh, destruct coming in from Relic to try and buy them some time to clear out this ball. But Scoob with a nice midair shot on goal, but it does get tipped by Relic. However, Thurm's there with the setup for Tommy, and it goes in. Marietta just was struggling to clear the ball. I think part of it is, take note of this next time. I noticed that Tommy actually went over and just took the boost around, even though he didn't need it, but their strategy is denying the boost for Marietta, because if you don't have any boost, you really can't do a whole lot. So pay attention to see if they just start just going around and randomly taking away the boost along the sides. Tommy with a nice setup towards Marietta's side of the goal as Thurm will hit the mid-air deflect it towards the Marietta's goal, but Thaxter cutting it close, almost getting the open goal there, but does get the deflect out as Scoob will take a shot and go and hit his cross but Thurm is there to clean it up. That was very well done by Thurm. That, that was a nice score. Like I, I see that like Scoob sets it up for him, Thurm gets it past two people. And that's, that's a nice where, instant demo right there. Yeah, that's what you were talking about earlier, Matt, where they blow up the defender so he is unable to block yeah, the shot. Yeah, and they demoed him just a sec, a split second before the ball was there. If he didn't get demoed, he would have blocked it for sure. Tommy with an open shot towards Marius having to go Marius to force to retreat to try and deflect this one out. As Scoob looking to set up a ball for Thurm, who's in the mid. But it does get deflected out by Ozio and Marietta forced to try and clear this ball out. And Relic's going to do just that with a wide open goal on the side of Widener. But Scoob does get a last second touch on it as he is retreating towards the goal. Tommy with a nice shot towards the goal. But it looks like it is going to hit the crossbar as Relic is trying to clear it out. And Thurm pulls up Ozio in the meantime. Relic dribbling the ball down the right hand side of the goal. But does get deflected out by Thurm as Thaxter tries to finish up that shot. But it does go wide. Yeah, they just go back to they're trying to play keep up. And because they're trying to make quick plays, they're not necessarily getting the ball lined up the way they would want to. That's why we're seeing them missing more or their angles are off by a little bit. But there, Thaxter had a great shot, a little lob there, but just not enough to, to go in. Yeah, a shot from Relic coming in, trying to clean it up, but it does hit the crossbar as the ball does get sent towards Mary at the side of the goal. Tommy, running around, Tommy, yeah, running around trying to get to collect the boost to keep them from Marietta. He knows that they want to dribble the ball down the right-hand side of the goal as Ozio is going to do just that as he looks to hit it mid-air towards the side of the goal, but Tommy is there to deflect that one out. Baxter tries to clean it up, but Thurm is there for the follow-up. Yeah, so if Marietta wants to stay in the game, they're going to have to keep taking boost even if they don't need it because they know Tommy's is going to go over there and take it away. Nice shot coming in from Relic, but, or uh, cross coming in from Relic, but nobody is there to clean it up. And there's two seconds remaining in the map, and it looks as though Widener just wants to hit the ball towards the bottom, towards the floor, so that the map will end. Our Marietta trying to deny it from hitting the floor, but they are unable to do so, and Widener will take the second map 2-0, or 3-0.
All right, so they're up to zero. This is match point for Widener, and as we're seeing, Widener, if I had to tell you though, right now, I, unless it's like labeled, I cannot tell you who their one grand champion player is. Widener's just looking all around like an amazing team. Yeah, that was the only person we're able to figure out. Uh, oh yeah, let me get this back up here. There we go. No, I was saying, we were able to scout one player and know he was grand champion. We didn't, couldn't find any information about the other two. They could be all grand champion for all we know. That could be true. And maybe if they aren't, maybe the other two aren't and they only have one. This is looking like a very well oiled team. That's it. The way they're all playing, I wouldn't be surprised if they're all grand champion. Tell me, looking to set something up for Scoob. However, Therm's coming in on the setup in the center and he looks to shoot that ball, but it does go far right. However, he's not giving up on this ball. Relic, or Relic forced to try and clear the ball as he tries to juggle it down the right-hand side of the field. As It looks as though Thaxter's coming in in the mid lane to try and clean this ball up, but no one's there just yet. As Tommy would the fuck that one out as Ozio tried to follow through with it. And Scoob there on the left-hand side of the field. Widener forced to try and play defense here. They need to clear the ball on the side of the field or else Mary is going to come in with the goal as Rayla comes with a nice angle in the midair, but does get deflected by Tommy. Mariana not giving up from this ball on this shot just yet, and that is what we need to see. As though Tommy will deflect that one midair and looks as though it will go into the goal. Yeah, just the way he was able to fly over and just pretty much carry the ball himself. It's just well played. Now remember, this is match point for Widener. So Merida has got to take this map if they want to stay alive in this best of three series. However, Tom Scoob with a nice shot on goal as it looked as though Ozio tried to save or really, or hey, correction. Uh, I, I believe it was, it was Ozio in goal. Yeah, he tried to save it. It was a good hit, and it just bounced the wrong way, and it was enough. But early 2-0 lead by Widener. However. A 3-0 yeah. lead, as that was no really one was ready for right. that. I mean, that that's just... You gotta expect the unexpected. Marietta has got to take a minute, a second, and breathe. It might have been advantageous to take a breather before this game. Because right now, Marietta is struggling to the setup and... But they gotta, they gotta give credit to Weiner too. So it's, I'm not saying that Marietta's playing poorly, but Weiner is a very good team and we're seeing that. And it's just really hard to go up against uh, a team of this caliber. True indeed, as there's another open goal on the side of Marietta as Relic tries desperately to save it. However, Therm just taps that one in. Just like this game is going to be running away from the Pioneers. Three minutes remaining though, it is doable. The it is doable. Merida just have to breathe, relax, and bounce back. It, it's definitely doable with a nice, starting off with a nice save coming in from Relic, however. Yeah, that was a really good air dribble by, by Scoob. That's really well done. Nice uh, denial coming in from Ozio, but there, it looks as though Relic will deflect that shot coming in from Scoob, who was in mid lane. Ball is heading down towards Widener's side of the field as Relic was trying to set up something for his team, but Therm is there to deny it. Instead of back down towards Mary, instead of the goal, Scoob looking to set something up for Therm, who is in the center, but it does go wide. However, Therm crosses that one back over to try to get it to Tommy, but that one also goes wide. As Thaxter dribbling the ball down the left hand side of the field, this is Marietta's chance. He has to set something up for his team. However, Tommy just retreats just in time to deflect that one and send the ball back down towards Marietta's side of the goal. Yeah, but look what Tommy's doing. He's, he went around the center of the field. He didn't go after the ball. He just went around and just take boost. In fact, take a look at everyone's boost meter during the game. If we're going to see that Wider is usually pretty close to full boost, Marietta is about half boost every time we see them with the ball. And that's because Tommy just goes around and if he knows he doesn't need to go after the ball, he's going to go take any boost around him to deny Marietta the ability to actually make plays. And that's what makes it difficult for Mary to actually go and make shots because they run out of boost before they can finish their play. 
Either that or maybe it's just not doing a great job of collecting booze. However, there is a nice jungle coming in from Ozio. Trying to get a shot onto gold, but Therm is there to deny as he will take the ball on the wall down the left hand side of the field and look to set something up for his teammate Tommy, who does deflect that one, tries to hit it back towards the goal, but it does get deflected out by Ozio. So, so right now we have an open goal on the side of Marietta and Widener wants to take advantage of that, but Marietta, the two members of Marietta who are alive until the next one responds, which he has come back in, trying to deny that. Over Tommy with a nice mid-air reflect, trying to get it into Marietta's goal. One minute remaining into the match, and if Marietta does not score here, then we could see Weiner running away with the Series 3-0. And they have a minute, the 50 seconds left to score five goals. Five goals, one goal per 10 seconds? Pretty much. But we're seeing that Weiner is going to deny that opportunity for the Pioneers. Although Rayleigh's going to try to take the ball up and set up a play. We're seeing Thurm right there to knock it all the way back. So now we're down to 30 seconds remaining in the uh, this game and most likely the series. Nice reflect coming in from Scoop trying to set something up for his team, but Adizu is there to try and deny it. And I guess that was a strategical miss coming in from Tommy as Staxter will just shoot that one in. I, I have no clue what Tommy was doing there. I mean, he I just... Don't know if, I, I don't know if he misclicked or maybe it was just... It's hard to tell. Yeah. I don't think it was BM, but... I, I I don't see how that'd be BM. Yeah, I don't think so, but... Yeah, maybe just hit the wrong button and went the wrong way, but... It gives Daxter a chance to get a goal. So at least it will not be a shutout. That is true. However, 10 seconds remaining in the match, and Daxter looking to try and score another goal for his team before this one is over, but the ball should touch the ground shortly and end the map as... Widener will take this one. It has not touched the ground just yet. And no, as Widener will take the map 3-0 with a 5-1 scoreline in the last map. Yeah, just a very strong performance there. Nine shots in the goal by Widener. Marietta had four, which is, I don't think it's considered not bad. But yeah, so with that, Widener will take the uh, series, the 3-2 zero um so congratulations to them and yeah i i don't think there's there were a couple mistakes that mariana made with a, a few of the exposed goals but i think part of it is just the relentless offense by weiner and their boost denial that worked very well in their favor and it made it difficult for mariana to to actually set up plays well that is going to be it for us for today but we have so many matches for you this week. So many. You, here's the look. Here's the rundown. So tomorrow, our League of Legends team will be playing against Defiance College. We were supposed to play last Saturday. We had to get that rescheduled. So that's going to be tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Thursday, our Overwatch team will be playing against Penn College. Uh, so that will be at 8 o'clock. And then Friday, maybe... Oh, no, Vincent. Okay. Okay, so Friday at 8.30 p.m., the our Rainbow Six team will be playing against The Ohio State University um, for our blue team. And we just received word that our uh, white team is scheduled to play against our black team who is no longer competing. So GG to the white team for a win by default. It sometimes happens. It just happens sometimes. But so our white, our, our Rainbow Six white team will not be playing this week because they do get an automatic win. Uh, unfortunately, that means that they do finish the season one and four, so they will not be able to advance to the playoffs. So uh, that will be the fall season for them. But they're going to continue to practice and improve for the spring semester. Uh, Saturday. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, so be, be, be sure to, to check that out on Friday, the cheer on the Rainbow Six team as they go up against a very good Ohio State team and with playoff potential. And then Saturday, our League of Legends team will return to play against Tiffin University at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. And then next Sunday, our Overwatch team will be playing against Lords University 
in what's going to be a very, very uh, interesting match, to say the least. Lords is definitely one of the top uh, Overwatch teams, not only in the GLEC, but I would contend in the country right now. Mm. One. Debatable. I didn't. I, one. They're like probably the best in Ohio. Yeah. But definitely best in Ohio. Yeah. Probably best in like the the mid. Like if you had to pick a team US. for every state, I mean, you'd pick them for Ohio. Although it's really interesting because I don't think they've played against Ohio Northern, which and they're pretty good too. So no, uh, I would I would love to see that matchup. I don't I don't know either. I don't think they're scheduled to, but I would love to see that matchup. I have to ask, but. Uh, that will be at noon on Sunday, and then on next Monday, our Overwatch team will return. I can't even remember who you guys are playing on Monday. That's, that's so bad of me. Um, we'll have to look it up later, but that's that's all next, next Monday. But our uh, Rocket League match against Lords that was supposed to be for this coming Saturday is going to be res rescheduled to, it looks like, 4 o'clock on Monday. So we're going to have, we got something every day of the week for you guys every single day so please be sure to, to come back to, to check it out if you haven't hit that follow button please be sure to do so that way when we go live you are aware of it and you can watch and support the pioneers for all the latest updates and announcements of what's going on married ecology sports please be sure to follow us on social media on twitter facebook instagram tiktok youtube all of it is at marietta esports so am i missing anything guys um i don't think so yeah, okay. So that'll be it for us today. So thank you again for watching, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your evening.